Well, Gilbert Arenas has been running his uneducated mouth for what seems like years now on his Gills Arena platform. And in that time, he has been unabashedly slithering his way in front of a hot mic in order to shamelessly advance the interests of the clutch sports messaging. But as of late, Gil and his fellow clutch flunkies have been dealt a critical blow as the wheels of this propaganda machine have all but fallen off. See, Arenas was a voice for the uneducated teenagers hoisting up the lie of LeBron, who until Arenas basically only had corrupt fake journalists on the take that were championing their fraud king. But in Arenas, this was a former player that played in the heels of the Jordan era and during LeBron's. This was the voice they had been waiting on. And Gil did not disappoint, as he has been spewing his hypocritical idiocy for a while now. The reason that I feel LeBron is the GOAT is because during pressure times, he still makes the actual right decision. Unfortunately, his main talking point, like the scrub Gen Zers, was always the alleged super athletes of today versus the plumbers of past years. But sadly for Gil, the slow, unathletic Europeans showed up are dominating this league of super athletes, and now Arenas is feeling triggered. Recently suggesting the way to improve the NBA is to kick all of them out of the league. I, I know what they can do. Get rid of all the Europeans. They have no athleticism. They have no athleticism, mm -hmm. right? They have no speed, no jumping ability. They are a liability on defense. And look, there have been other highly skilled Europeans in the NBA over the last two plus decades. Most notably, sixth all-time leading scorer, Dirk Nowitzki. You know, Dirk, 14-time All-Star, 12-time All-NBA selection, and league MVP. Though he never really could take over the league during his era. In fact, he only managed one title in his 21 year career. Coincidentally, it came against the king of super athletes himself while he was on a jacked super team. But that unathletic European destroyed these super athletes while a six foot two bench player also outplayed Gil's GOAT. And now here we are in an era of ever advancing athleticism with Nikola Jokic utterly destroying these players while Luka Doncic is likely the best offensive force of at least the last decade. And you know Gilbert Arenas is taking exception with all of it. Because why exactly? Those players aren't playing any defense? You people, oh. Which is just such an utterly rich take by him if you understand the context of his own NBA career. Arenas, of course, rose to national prominence in the 2004-2005 NBA season, where at just the age of 23, he averaged 25.5 points per game and was named All-NBA third team. Arenas would go on to have an elite three-year span from 2005 through 2007, averaging 28 points per game, six assists, and four rebounds in an NBA where they actually did still play defense. Arenas was named to two All-NBA third teams and one All-NBA second team during that three-year stretch. And Agent Zero would parlay the three-year run into a massive payday in July of 2008, when he signed a six-year contract worth, at the time, a near-max deal of $111 million with the Wizards by just the age of 26. But the hibachi would never quite live up to that contract. Hell, he would barely even play throughout that contract. As again, despite being only 26 at the time, Gill would play only 121 more games in the NBA while scoring just 13 points per game during his aged 27 through 30 seasons. 
He would ultimately be traded from Washington to Orlando and appeared in 17 games with the Grizzlies before busting out of the NBA altogether and playing one season with the Shanghai Sharks at the age of 31. Oh yeah, and there was, of course, that pesky little incident where he brought a firearm into an NBA arena in direct violation of both NBA rules as well as a Washington DC ordinance. But that wasn't all. He also, allegedly, pulled the gun on teammate Javaris Crittenton in the locker room during a Christmas Eve dispute which initially began over gambling debts. And on January of 2010, the league would suspend Arenas indefinitely before they even concluded the investigation into that incident when this low-character bum took the court in pregame introductions before a game against the 76ers and pretended to shoot his teammate. But when he wasn't busy making a mockery of his $100 million contract, which still stands as one of the worst in sports history with this thuggish behavior, Gil never was a very high-level defender. In the best year of his career, in the 2006-2007 season, where he finished 8th in league MVP voting and made All-NBA second team, he was just 411th in defensive rating out of 458 qualified players in the entire league. So perhaps Gill has some fuzzy memories about the defense at least he was playing back in the day. This is not our league. This is not the American style. This is the Euro style. Meanwhile, this is the league now and we are smack dab in the highest scoring season in post-merger modern NBA history. The Europeans didn't make it this way. In fact, Luka Doncic is on record as saying the Euro League is harder than the NBA, but this is the product the league offices wanted by incentivizing and celebrating soft pampered losers like Gilbert Arenas himself. He couldn't cut it in a real league during real times. So the entire product has been depreciated to suit players with his low character and general soft mental deficiencies. And now, frankly, not just the Europeans, all foreign born players are taking over the NBA. Easily the five best players in the league today are all non-Americans and a budding monster in Victor Wembanyama is smack dab in one of the best rookie seasons ever. Yeah, make no mistake, it wasn't the Europeans that did this to the league. They are just excelling in this new format. And in order to determine how we got to this new brand of basketball, Gilbert and the other soft, weak-ass United-born players that came after him need only look at themselves in the mirror.